Lady L. Um, you know, uh, I've so enjoyed being here for the last 10 years and, and uh, doing what I think I do best, which is music. This is a little out of my element right now, uh, but it'll be the easiest part of my night uh, because I get to talk about my friend, Stuart, my good friend, Stuart. You know, four years ago when I first met Stuart, I thought, this is a guy who's just happy to go lucky, you know, just met him, we had a drink. And, uh, very soon I realized that I discovered the real Stuart Rock. And I quickly learned that, that Stuart is a very, very, very special person. A man with all the qualities that we talked about here with our other honorees. Soft side, a huge heart. I want to call you Mr. Goodheart, I think. It should be your nickname. He works hard, he lives life fully every moment, and he's always, always looking to help others. Let me tell you, this man is the real deal. His philanthropy and his desire to help others less fortunate is nothing short of remarkable. He consumes all of his time. I know I've spent a lot of time with him. Now, it could be Stuart's background which contributed, contributed to his boundless energy in helping others through his philanthropic events. He's always proud to say, and I relate to this so much, he started his career alongside his wonderful father, Joseph. His dad just owned a single pharmacy in Brooklyn way back in the day. Fast forward to the present. Stuart is the sole owner of the largest pharmaceutical distributor in the world with sales in excess of $5 billion. Um, I would have made that too if I hadn't been married three times, but that's not a story. He's so funny. Stuart has worked hard to achieve his dreams, and Stuart's only been married once. And I really would like to take just a moment, I'm sure he will too, uh, uh, but in case he gets nervous, uh, we talked about 15, 17 years, we talked about uh, 15 years, I think, for uh, somewhere under 20. I'm talking about 40 years with this beautiful woman, Carol. Please stand up, Carol, and take a moment. Carol Bob. These two are making the dreams of others come true. So many charities help, so much money given, so many lives changed. I consider myself blessed to be friends of the Ross. So it is with great admiration and respect that I wished that I could introduce Stuart tonight, but that honor is not going to me this evening, I'm sorry to say. Stuart, you have another great friend who bumped me. He fought for the honor to introduce you, and he won. Have a look at the video screen. Stuart, you've been a friend of mine for many years. You're a spectacular person. Not everybody knows that, but I know it. There's nobody like you. You're charitable. You do everything for a friend. No better friend. I just want to congratulate you. This is a big night for you. Your friends are with you. I'm with you. We're all with you, Stuart. You really are special. <laughs> Don't worry. Wow. Awesome. Awesome night. Thank you, Jimmy, so much. Thank you. David. 
Thank you for those uh, generous and, and so kind words. My wife, Carol, my daughter, Felicia, and I are, are so honored to be here tonight, and I'm very proud to be associated with the amazing accomplishments of the Muhammad Ali Parkinson Center. As most of you know, the Muhammad Ali Parkinson Center was founded some 15 years ago after Muhammad was diagnosed with Parkinson's. The dedicated people at the center have worked carefully and diligently since 1994 in their commitment to providing excellence in diagnosis, treatment, research, and education for people with Parkinson's. To paraphrase Kevin Costner during his most moving speech last year, Muhammad Ali is not just a man's name. It has become an idea, a state of mind. It's a challenge to be the best that one can be. Muhammad Ali has changed all our lives, and not just because he was the greatest boxer who ever lived, but because more than any other person in sports history, he represented the positive effects that a champion can have on an entire world. Muhammad is the face of Parkinson's. I know that the effect of the mere presence of Muhammad here tonight is both positive and undeniable for every one of us in this room. We so respect Muhammad for his authentic and genuine love for all of us and for all mankind. Muhammad, has, Muhammad Ali has made all people become stronger and we thank him for this wonderful gift that he has given to us. With each passing year, I am convinced more than ever that giving back is the most important and joyful work that any one of us can do. And I am blessed that I am now in a position to be able to continue to do just that. As David said, against all odds, I was able to build from just a, a single pharmacy in Brooklyn, New York, a company that is today the largest privately held pharmaceutical and generic distributor in the entire world. I never, never paid attention to all the naysayers, and there were countless numbers of them. I just focused, and I believed in myself and the many bright individuals that I surrounded myself with. Muhammad Ali Parkinson Center, against all its odds, has, just like my company, grown from a tiny organization to an entity to be reckoned with and successes both large and small beyond their earliest dreams. I have no doubt that there will be countless incredible breakthroughs in the search for this most effective treatment for Parkinson's and perhaps even prevention of this most devastating disease. I am pleased that my support may help to transform the way that medical and scientific communities treat people who are afflicted with Parkinson's, and Muhammad Ali Parkinson Center has my steadfast support. So Winston Churchill once said that we make a living by what we get, but we make a life by what we give. And I repeat, we make a living by what we get, but we make a life by what we give. By that measure, I must respectfully confess that I feel that I've made quite a life for myself I have always tried to believe that we all should cherish yesterday, we all should dream for tomorrow, but live for today. Tonight, standing before all of you, I can honestly say that being selected at, as this year's business community's leader that best represents the enormous qualities associated with the champ himself is a very humbling and overwhelming honor for myself. With that sentiment in mind, I want to share with you that what is very, very real here tonight for me, and that is the thought that by tomorrow, I will have had one less day to try and make a difference in this world. And so at this time, I'm very pleased to announce that it's both my blessing and my honor to continue to support the outstanding and countless incredible breakthroughs that Muhammad Ali, the Parkinson Center, has accomplished thanks to the amazing fundraising efforts of, of Jimmy Walker and his fight team with a donation tonight here of $2 million. Wow.